to Buddy Plays Dark Souls. We're in Crystal. A uh, Crystal Halberd, right there. And a couple other things around here, but I don't really need it. It is uh, because my great club is already plus 15. And I'll get around to it later. Do, 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 do. Ooh, that was a shorter elevator, I guess. Gargoyle. He got me still. I want that tail cut though. Mm, he leashed. Great. That first attack hit me through my shield. Could you stay on the ground for long enough for me to swing? That'd be nice. There we go. Oh, three swings, really. Heal. There we go. Over here we have some demon titanite, I believe. Have on. Ah. But uh, Havels. Yeah. Pretty good for carry weight. We don't have any poise, but it isn't 100% needed. Here comes. Easiest place to die in the entire game. Besides, maybe better chaos sweeping you into the pit that they create. I love being able to one-shot them. I have a bunch of lightning spears I could shoot these guys with, but magic and even my weapon are going to be hard to use here. The easiest way to deal with, with these guys is to just put a bow on, but I only have 29 arrows. So that isn't going to work. I need those for the archers. So, if the controller works with me here. I can't shoot as fast as that. Don't step off. Oh my gosh. So worried about stepping off there. Fist it. There we go. I believe the Great Club moveset has a uh, forward step. Hmm? Might be able to kill him while he walks towards us. Oh no. No poise. Lovely. OK, 
Okay. Yeah, definitely has a forward step, like three forward steps. What is going on? Took an extra step there. Oh, so lucky. Look at all these deaths. There have been many times where I decided to just jump. And sometimes it works. You can jump over there. But I don't recommend doing it unless you're facing some enemy randomizer situation where the enemy here is too difficult to kill on the raptors. It's already here. There we go. Got everything to that time. Check this halberd out. What kind of damage can we do with it? 16 and 12. It is 148. Oh, actually I could equip it and see what it looks like. It is a halberd, so anytime you spin, swing in any way, and miss, you regret it. So I haven't been down to catacombs, which means Gwendolyn is not someone I can interact with yet. Let's get this bonfire first, so that we have the better starting point. Can kindle it up even. Too late. Need 2000 to level again. Let's see. Be able to. Iron Golem. Hmm, I might save that one for something. I think this is 3,000. No, two. Perfect. Okay. Endurance is a constant problem. What does Sun's Firstborn do? Boosts miracles. So I need to go down and carry weight if I want to wear this. Could always take that ring off. You're always so hesitant to do it, but oh, I can't do this. Regardless. So what if I do this? I'm still overweight, obviously, but then I'll actually have the poise and I can put whatever I want on. Hmm. I could do that and go up to, uh, let's see, 25, 28. What if I did go to 28, what would that look like?
Yeah, that's way too heavy. Well, I guess we're not going to get that damage boost. I usually like to be a glass cannon type build, but if I'm going to be over with Havel's Ring on even... Oh, I'm not. Not over. Obviously, I can do 25.2. Crimson Rub is pretty good. Maybe I should go that route. That's too heavy. <laughs> Where was I? Wanderer Boots? 25.2. Black Leather Boots are not as good, though. Ah, there we go. Fast rolling. Okay, no poise. Yeah, wrong way. Could go to Painted World, but that is not on my list of things at the moment. I didn't put my shield down. Okay. Two hits. That is unfortunate. How about a regular lightning spear? Oh, he just jumped over it. Yeah, shoot the ground instead of where he was at. Come on, game. This guy can just be knocked off if I want to be lazy. No demon spear from him though, because of that. Let's see if I can't shoot this guy. Oh, the guy on the left came. Got him. Okay. Don't have a lot of arrows free here. See how close we are? That's all the way off. Oh, let's see. Need a little higher, too. Dang. Still off there. How about there? One, two, three, just two, good. Plenty of arrows then. One poison run should do it, but it's hard to say. One, nope. One, how about there? Is that too high? Yeah, that missed him. Don't think that hit him.
There we go. Yes, invaders can be really annoying here. They try to exploit the fact that this exists. And they spawn right there. Now with this shield, we can block the great arrows. However, we will get forced backwards, which usually means you just get knocked down. Knocked off the rafters, whatever you want to call these. That's my buddy walking around his ghost form. Well... Does it take some time and some patience? And it could even take a second wave of poison? My bow's only plus five, how about yours? Got one? Now the item over there on the left is actually a pretty good soul item. But it is kind of dangerous to get because there's a glitch in the step right after you get the item. Sometimes you can't walk up the stupid uh, path. You end up sliding to the side and fall right off for 10,000 souls. But I think I will go get it because that's, if I popped that right now, that's a level. Although we are a little bit high for entering Anne Orlando, we're actually pretty close to the range of most players that would be getting here. The big difference in what we're doing and what most people are doing is that we have plus 15 weapons, so most players, invaders, co-op, they're not going to be plus 15 coming to Anne Orlando the first time. Sliding to the side. Yeah, it's sliding me to the right side. <laughs> I hate this. This used to glitch all the time in the original. I would just skip the item because it's not worth 10,000 souls usually. To have to redo the whole run. Mm, somebody's grave lording. Cool. Now, grave, the way Gravelord works, you're not going to get any Gravelord enemies in New Game, so it doesn't matter that they're Gravelording here to us. Except it's a, it's actually a really cool PvP mechanic. They get invaded by everybody that touches a sign. In fact, we could both touch a sign right now. Yeah. Go for it. We go into their world, and our goal is to kill them to stop them from invading our world with, uh... They have... Okay, come on. It didn't go over when I pressed the left button. So... I'm invading, sweet. Ah, nice.
Oh, what was that? Oh, of course. Dark bead. Yep. Uh -oh. oh, morons. It can be a lot of fun, but if you got somebody running dark bead, oh my gosh. You basically being the cheapest you could possibly be. Okay, so we got a lot of exploring here to do. First, we want to talk to him. I don't want to do that. Let's talk to him. I want to get the dialogue done so that he moves along. Yeah, there's no loss for invading him. If uh, you win and... Well, first off, the way Gravelord works in New Game Plus cycles, for some reason they decided not to do it in the original cycle. But when you go through New Game Plus, if you're getting a Gravelord Serpent in your world, then it adds enemies to your world. And it is so cool to experience that. New enemies to fight. If you want to get rid of the annoyance of new enemies to fight, you invade the person's world to kill them and get rid of their sign. And then... Uh, your world gets cleansed of the Gravelord enemies. If you win. If you lose, you can just invade them again. The place that they're standing is where their sign is. They don't actually put a sign on the ground. They use an Eye of Death. They pop it as a consumable, and it gets used up. Oh, I don't one-shot them. I'm sure I backstab would, though. Did I pick up the item over there? That was sunlight metals, if I remember correctly. So now I have six. I only need four more for rejoining the covenant when we get to that point. Yeah, I would just skip getting the Mimic here, but I actually need that weapon. I want to use that to Colt Club in the Catacombs to kill the uh, Skeletons. It should kill them still, shouldn't it? Yeah. Let's check that out. Dragon Tooth is an option for dragon weapons. It's only 40 strength required. Like so I could two-hand it now. It's 18 pounds. What am I looking at for damage here? You got one? Yeah. You got one what? Uh, many oh, sweet. Good deal. So my damage is 377 with an unupgraded Dragon Tooth. It takes Dragon Scales, of course, to upgrade that. Not enough to kill him. But that is. There's the Occult Club. If the Occult Club doesn't count... Then I could always... Oh, wow. That's just as much as the Dragon Tooth was doing two-handed. Yeah. But it split damage again. Uh, again, I say, yeah. Split damage is generally nowhere near as good as just one type of damage, because it looks at the armor stat for both armor defensive stats of the enemy you're hitting. Okay, could do the jump. I usually 
Leave these mimics to get mimic helms? To get a mimic helm? Did you not talk to him in Sense Fortress? Uh, usually I'd leave these guys here to try and farm with the... Uh, Lloyd's Talismans. But, I already got a Mimic Helm, so don't need to save that. My buddy's had a lot of trouble with Remastered. The storyline for uh, Sigmire. In here we have, right? Okay. I hope he's there for me. Because I really want to spell. I have more than enough faith to use it already. That's locked. From the other side. Nothing in there. This one has an item in it though, and an enemy. Okay, that's everything right there. I have no reason to do the jump at the moment. Keep hearing somebody run around up there. Don't think it's me. I'm not sure though. Trying to break my guard? Not going to work. These guys are one of the hardest enemies to get all of their items for. Such a pain in the butt. The trophies that you need to get everything done in the game. Platinum trophy or achievements. Uh, they have like three different items that you have to get from them but three different enemies three different versions of the Silver Knight have to be farmed. And some of the drop rates are really really low. You got the silver sword, the silver spear, silver knight spear. I think is what it's called. I keep hearing that. It's a full set of armor running around. It's not my character, but it's like somebody's chasing me down. He is here for me. Good. Yeah, he's here for me. Ah, let me get that done. I'll think of something. This will need hmm. Can't hit through the wall. Or can we? Eh, I did nothing. Fury sword. The falchion. 
question or you think? Mm-hmm. Not positive about that. Okay. Yeah, that wasn't even remastered. That was Prepare to Die edition that you played last, and he wasn't there for you. It's weird. You must be doing something differently than me. You headed back to talk to him again? Yeah. Okay. It's smart. I mean, that's the only way to make sure he comes before we fight the boss. If you fight the boss, then Yeah. If you do that room and you haven't talked to him yet, it can cause you lots of issues. Okay, so I have some time. I suppose I could try and kill this guy. He is made much more difficult by the fact that he's in this little teeny tiny room. And he is a double demon titanite holder. Not as just a single. So, that right there could get through my shield even. And that can grab me. And it's hard to dodge those when you're in a little teeny tiny corner. I miss that. You want to be on his right side, but he doesn't like you there, so he tries to get away from it. Hey, how about some lightning? You have lightning too, huh? Oh, you can reach me. Heal? I'm not that close to you, you know that? Oh, you're gonna try again? Oh, that didn't go over the shield, thank goodness. It wasn't quite in the right position to go over me. So two Demon Titanite. There are only a couple that drop double in the game. One of them respawns, so you can get as much Demon Titanite as you could want. Let's see. Go back to down to the beginning. Mm, I've got the drops to do, but I think I'll go back and level up before I continue on. Just one level up. But we have a couple souls. A really big one. All three souls of a hero. I'm gonna use those up. And let's see here. One soul of a brave warrior. No, I have two of those. Okay. levels is all that. Hmm, and what to level up? Four more? Well, 
More damage is more damage. I need to be 50 faith to wield Grant, I believe. Or maybe it's 50 strength. I'm not sure anymore. But I also need more endurance still. A lot more. Hmm. Let's go with damage first. More life is not a bad idea either. I think this is actually called the Silver Knight Halberd. Instead of Spear, but maybe a Spear. Not sure. Kinda weird how he still guards those trests even though they're empty. You don't have to fight him. So I got some drops, jumps, doors to open. Go ahead and use some great lightning. Look at that defense. Doesn't block his back though. Oh no. Okay, I wanna open this door. In case I drop outside. I forgot to deal with the archer. First. The homing arrows are ridiculous. If you hit the shield at all, you do no damage. Very unfortunate. These guys can drop chunks, believe it or not. If you get rid of the illusion, then they don't spawn anymore, so that's a farm of chunks that you could lose. And they also drop night gear, obviously. The great bow is something I could be using in the future. You're supposed to do a ground. Oh no, do it at the last second so it doesn't count. Oh, that shield. It isn't that good for the player, that's for sure. Yeah, I bet you're right. Could you please target the enemy? Thank you. There we go. Knowing that we're going to play through New Game Plus a million, I'm not too worried about getting all the weapons up to plus 15 right away, you know. I'm not always going to just use a great club. Crystallized great club 
will be coming up in one of the New Game Plus playthroughs, but also all the strength weapons. I'm going to check them all out. Especially Smo's hammer. And the dragon from the Dragon Lord. I can't remember what he's called. This takes 20 dex, I think. Increasing dex does increase casting speed on certain spells, like I said in the last video. But not my lightning spears. He doesn't mind. That's where I was worried about falling outside of the area. Wouldn't want to be trapped out there and have to do the path again. So yeah, if you don't change the trap in Sense Fortress, then it would make perfect sense that he doesn't move on. He's stuck. It does make sense though. Chunk. What do you need? Modified is plus six or plus eleven. Oh, plus ten the Falchion, yeah. So I could bring the Occult Club down to Divine. I could also upgrade it, probably. Yep, I've got one white knight, white, white titanite chunk. This is a great weapon for the purposes that I intend to use it for. So I definitely will do that. How about my shield? Have I gotten any large? I think I put it to plus 10, didn't I? That's a twinkle weapon, hmm. but it does take 2020, and I'm not going to level that dex for a while. That's eight levels that go somewhere else first. Do you need to keep everything repaired? Everything's repaired. Okay. I'm not going to worry about reinforcing. It does have a few things I could get though. His large costs less than Sense Fortress. He's yeah, the only place to get Twinkling, which this was not a thing at the beginning of the game. That was added later because they realized it was too difficult to leave it like that. Giant's Halberd is 36 strength. Mm. I have 34, I think. So I could actually wield this 140 plus D and D scaling. Giant shield again, 36 strength. So I could roll that as well. There we go. Stability is 68. Let's check out the stability of my shield. Oh, I can't. Can't there. Seventy-eight. I already have 10 more stability than the giant shield would give me. But of course I could level that to maximum right away. What is... Yeah, I'd need two levels in strength to be able to wield it. It is an option though. Not going to be able to wear armor forever, so... If I don't use some armor in the first run, then... Not really going to have an opportunity to use it at all. Oh, it's going to cost a lot to level it up. <laughs> oh, I'm not leveling armor, I'm leveling a shield. Okay, so... 160, 75 versus... Is 
So it's 5 and 5 and 30 against fire. Lower stability, but in the end, I believe it goes there. It is a great shield, of course. Cool. Hmm, yeah. I hope he moves. My buddy's having trouble with his Sigmire not playing along. It almost definitely was a trap. Invaded. Okay. And I'm under carry weight, so that's good. Hello. Two hits. Yeah, that's at low life. You see him running around in giant armor. That would be fun to do. I hate that that hits all the way around him. You have to block it or take a hit. And when you're blocking, make sure you take a hit. You, uh, because it's not 100%, you still take damage. I guess I've cleared Anne Orlando for the most part. Oh, but I didn't become human. Body's down there. So I need to become human at the very least. That's all I lost from having died to an invader. So if I get some more souls. I might have set the five boss. Five bosses get APC to me. I'll be playing a mess, my also bring it to I heard that guy moving around again. See if I can hear him. There he is. Hmm. Maybe it's one of the archers on the wall. Well, just waiting on my buddy, really. He's trying to figure out Sigmire. If you have to fight a boss, then you could go back and do Moonlight real quick. But you got a lot of work. 
to do that. I suppose I could go get a drink. Yeah, in New Game 1, New Game 0, I guess, you're, uh, you're kind of in need of those. Let's see, I need to pop one humanity. Puts me less than 50. Now, if I were to bring my strength up, I could wield this. So, what would I be able to wear then? Oh, a lot of stuff, seems. And still be under the 50.2. Still mid roll at that point, but. Oh, he has a hard time even moving it in front of himself. Okay. Well, do I have the souls for it? Core of an Iron Golem. Maybe. You're not human, so you can't be invaded and have somebody mess up your bridge. So that's good. Oh, right. Well, yeah, after you do that, though, don't become, I mean, uh, suicide so you aren't human. So you can use the bridge. Otherwise, you might have to go through the whole level again. I think I need to get through. Well, I'm sure you can. That isn't the point. If I'm going to be waiting for you. Right. Is my concern. I didn't check to see how many souls I needed for that. 21,000. Well, I guess I could pop this. I never use his weapons. Might get more from Frant, but... Oh well. Might as well kill this guy as well. And there we go. Okay. Everything all the way around is better, but that weight. Oh, it takes titanite? Not Twinkling Titanite, like all of the other pieces, I believe. Well, that changes things significantly. Oh, well, I needed the strength anyway. If I'm not going to get the stability out of it, it won't be worthwhile until I have the Titanite I need. 
and this takes twinkles so that's an option as well it's so much better across the board so I'll probably just use that I wasted 10,000 souls on the shield oh well Can I wear any gloves? Oh, that works. Those are pretty good, too. Go up 0.3. Are there any hats that light? Almost. Nope. Okay. See what this looks like for damage if I get direct hit. Still a lot of damage. But I have all the poise in the world. It's fun to play that way. But you gotta level your life significantly. Which, unfortunately, is what most people do for these games. The reason that Elden Ring has all those DPS checks and life checks is because that's what everyone focused on in all the older games. Okay, well I'm going to go grab a drink. You can uh, sit here and talk with Solaire for a moment. And I will be back in a moment. Me. Oh, 
Oh, there's a baker down there. I saw the red light, I think. Mm, that would have been cool. So I think we'll grab the uh, giant armor, just for the fun of it. But it's going to cost a lot of souls. What do we have here? Ooh. <laughs> it's a fairly good light shield. 64 stability. Yeah, other players can move this out there. Really frustrating. It is a very good uh, situation there. Basically, the bullet player have to go through the practice again. Which just, there's no real reason to do that. Because the fight the ancient guardians. Hmm. So right now I'm going to buffer and I'll go ahead and buffer. And this will be ready to fight. One thing I forgot to look at, do this, these have any require? no, no armor has requirements. In Dark Souls 1, that's Dark Souls 2. So generally we don't do a lot of farming anymore. We used to farm a bit of the dragon killing everything on the bridge, the drake bridge, and use the shield trick in the forest to get the souls back for the key, which really is a valid way of getting your souls back. And you get the 20,000 after like four runs, I think. So the key pays for itself, in a way. He's there. Wait. Excellent. So that's the trigger. It's good to know. You have to move the elevator, mm -hmm. and then fight the boss with your old two by one. Eight thousand for the other piece. Would like to get the whole set. Wearing it though is one of those things that that must have been a counter attack because I wasn't killing them one shot before. Let's see if it's better for me. It's less weight is the biggest thing about it. It's really good, especially if it's upgraded. Am I low enough weight to wear something on my head? I am. Very good. I'm glad I got that out. I know, I always have to move that out. I don't want to get 
que de mais de bastante. Tá de boa, calma. That was a mess. Yeah, that's enough to buy the gloves. But if I just get 2,000 more... Oh, very nice. They could also drop the pieces, which makes me want to kill these two first. Did I kill the archer yet? They use that for one of my players, and it was a lot of fun. Yes, yes, I did. But as the time to work, The shield is too good. Okay. I need 14. Oh, yeah, I've got what I need. Now, I'm not going to upgrade these pieces like I've said in the past. They... Well, they know where I'm at. Still... That would backfire. It will be a waste of souls and resources to upgrade armor, since armor is something that we will be leave behind uh, in one of the new game pluses. I can almost do it. Almost.
fight against any rules or anything like that. <laughs> My buddy's fighting an invader at the moment, sorry. We can just sit here and wait for him. It's pretty funny they parried at the same time. Yeah, I don't think anything is going to work for Helmet. So I'm at the 5,000 and... Oh yeah, I wish I had the indictments. I forgot to buy one. I mean, I was there looking at the stuff and I just totally forgot about it. So we are ready to go. I got some souls and bought some giant armor. Mm, pretty much. Poise is 65. That's really good. If I go a little bit lower, I could probably get a helmet on. Okay, let's go like that. Can wear the gargoyle helmet with that. Got invaded. That's the guy that invaded you. Forgot how to do emotes. Hello. Why is he trying to run away from me? Why didn't it do the jump attack? My character moved a step instead of even swinging. Hmm. I think he's hoping that there's an enemy somewhere. There aren't any enemies to help you, dude. Good job. How do I do this? Thank you for the PvP. PvP in Dark Souls 1 is pretty fun usually. That guy wasn't trying to be cheap in any way. Oh, the second guy I fought wasn't really either. He was just using what was available to him. At this point, you get the giant armor. So, it makes sense. The person with Dark Feed, though, you get that at the end of the DLC, basically. That's extremely cheap to go all the way through the game. It's called twinking. 
and we've done it many times because you have to uh, go through all the covenants in this one. You really have to. Okay, my sign is back down again. <laughs> oh yeah, we really enjoyed the rewards for PvP in Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2. The PvP was actually really good. In Dark Souls 3, it was less so because we couldn't do the PvP. Well, my buddy was able to do some. I wasn't able to do any. Really. I mean, once per hour is not what you're going for when you're trying to invade or be invaded. So I could use my lightning uh, at the beginning, it'll be useful, but later on it becomes less so because of the fact that they are lightning infused enemies, right? So the one I want to fight is Marauders, the north thing. Okay. Because I can get some I want to make Smo's hammer, so my let's do. Let's okay. kill Ornstein in my world, so but we're killing Smo in yours. Yeah, I think Smo's Hammer is 58 or 68 strength required, so never really even attempted to use it. Not as good as I'd hoped. For plus 15 weapon. It's hilarious how after he jumps he can, like, side shimmy rotate his body around on the ground as if he was on a turntable or something. Goodbye, King Bowser. What was that? Yeah, he didn't hit anything, I don't think. No grabbing. Okay, that wasn't a grab anyway. Lightning. Okay, you want to use lightning? I'll use lightning. No! The lag teleports. That hit him? Hmm. Shouldn't have. That should not have hit me the way it went, like in a semicircle. That hit him. 58. Uh, they're almost worthless. This is not the guy you want to use lightning on, that's for sure. Mimic Helm. Nice. You want to put it there? Let's go, Soleil. This way. Yeah, he was not programmed to follow the stairs. 
properly. It took him forever to get that fixed. He still thinks about Okay, we're killing Ornstein first this time. Okay. Going through. This is the easy way to play for sure. Super heavy. I don't like it as much. Yeah. The music causes copyright strikes. It is so annoying that that is a thing. But it didn't used to be, but recently we have gotten a copyright strike for the music in Dark Souls. So we had to mute that music, right? It's unfortunate, but... Did that kill me? It did. Can you kill him quick? You were way too far away from him to kill him. Uh, I guess I gotta do it again. Yeah, somebody asked in my buddy's chat, where's the music? We can't have it on. YouTube demonetizes Dark Souls now. It's really unfortunate. We're speaking from experience. They have copyright struck. Uh, which music was it specifically? Hornstein and Smell? I got ground pounded with the lightning. I was in the middle of a swing and couldn't cancel, obviously. So when he decided he was gonna all of a sudden Jump into the air. I was just dead. I we have really low life. <laughs> yeah, which is ridiculous. The character creation screen. I don't care. Put your sign down. Honestly, we should have got that, but I was more trying to read my buddy's chat and less trying to focus on the fight. Because <laughs> he is sitting next to me. We play side by side, two TVs next to each other, two PlayStations next to each other, you know? I suppose I could use my Lightning Spears here. But these guys jump around and if they turn just a little bit and it hits a shield instead, the damage is completely negated. Completely negated. It's unfortunate.
I guess. I wasn't even facing that direction. Why did I hit that? A chunk. Excellent. A chunk? Okay, I'll get you first this time in case we get invaded. Uh, maybe. Go over. There we go. The menu will pop up before you can actually turn your selection. Okay, getting Solaire. Solaire is summoned. Here we go. I got my Okay. Here we go. Hornstein first. And he came all the way over here to die first. Quickly. No cutscene, you don't have as much to worry about. Stamina better. That's basically the game is stamina management. Ooh. Oh, that hit me! What? Ornstein was dead. He was facing you and he swung his hammer from behind him and that hit me behind him. So I think I'm actually dead. I hope that I have a chance to heal. No, I died. Dang! I was behind Smo and he hit me with his attack to you. Let's see. New humanity. Not Kindle. Reverse. Oh, that really sucks because I didn't go out of my way to get my body either, so the souls for killing my buddy's boss is gone. Oh, that makes me mad. Dying to something so stupid. Yeah, I wanted to kick right there. Come on, game. Did you see that? He was facing this way, and then all of a sudden he's facing me. He, he didn't even turn, he was just, like, immediately facing a different direction. 30,000 souls lost. You would think, considering the armor that I have, that he wouldn't do so much damage to me. But... I have like three hits available to me, and I had already taken two while I was fighting Ornstein by myself. So... Let's get this. Backstab. Thank you. 
We have to destroy that guy. It'd be nice if I got their helmet. Even their halberd is something I might actually use. I hope he doesn't do the drop, but he probably will. Yep, he dropped. How? It's not how a hill works. This time I will tank smell. I'll show you guys how to do it. You just stand here with your shield up and avoid taking damage. You don't have to do anything, but make sure that the enemy that your buddy is fighting and trying to kill is nowhere near you so that your buddy doesn't get killed by attacks meant for you. Yeah, this fight is not nearly as hard as people make it out to be. We've done it with Cursed, Egghead, and a uh, limit on upgrades on the weapon, and succeeded easily. Keeps turning towards me right as I swing. Oh, dang. Broke my guard there. Oh, he's gonna do it again. Oh, really? That's how that works? That's baloney. Yeah. Lag. Like he swings and it doesn't show the full attack. And there he's dead. And the come. That was horrible. Two unnecessary deaths. And I lost 30,000 souls. Very frustrating for me. is not too far from us. Not sure what the stat requirement is on it though. But on the way down we'll be using the Occult Club which scales really well with Faith. Some life would be nice actually. 
Getting hit that hard was a pain in the butt. Yeah, I'm not waiting for you. Lord Vessel. Okay, we could get that helmet for 6,000. Might actually be able to wear all of the gear then. No, I couldn't. I don't think I have enough to wear even the gloves right now. But I might be able to wear that piece specifically. just ridiculous. That ground pound should have killed the giant and at least hit the silver knight if not killed him too. Where's my shield, huh? It worked that time. Though let this guy get three free attacks. What kind of weapon I need for Smo's hammer as well? Yeah, it's not going to show me because I don't have anything at plus 10. This is plus 15, but it won't go down uh, like that. 
I could make it go down to 10 in order to upgrade it. But it's just not going to work that way. I wonder if you can do that to crystal weapons. If I bring the morning star up to plus 10, I might actually be able to see the answer to the question. And I do want to upgrade that anyway. So let's grab ourselves. Oh, I'm going to need five. Well. Oh no, I still need two more. After this. Not just one. But let's get that to plus 10. That's my goal right now. Seed. Seven thousand souls. We'll go that route, I guess. So worthless against lightning enemies. Really? Just because you can't see him doesn't mean I shouldn't be able to. Game. The wall should not block my vision. To, uh, target. Definitely want to kindle that bonfire. So did I get any soul items? No. I need... 9,600, so 800 more. Just to get the Titanite. That's right, I do have more souls available to me if I go sell things at the cramped. Specifically the coins give a few thousand. Oh 
I need three. I thought I had one left over. So I need one more. And this is just going to give me an idea. I can't even actually upgrade it. But I'm pretty sure you need a hammer type weapon like the Morning Star. Maybe a club would work. I do need more souls, but I'm also out of Estus, so let's just remove that. What's wrong? I used the Midnight Butterfly one, and it was 1,200 by popping it, and I got sold it for 8,000. Way more. Yeah. So much more. Midnight Butterfly and maybe Priscilla are both really good ones to sell to him because he gives more than what you'd get. So Midnight Butterfly and Priscilla. I think it's those two. Don't sell Smos to him. It'll only be worth one soul. He does not like Smo at all. Well, I can warp now. My goal is some large Titanite. After I get this large Titanite, I've got to get another set of large Titanite in order to be able to upgrade the weapon I'm trying to get Smo's hammer with. Which, whatever that is, uh, it might be the mace, because I should get a second copy of the mace. Don't have one at the moment, though. Let's see here. I have one in here, for sure. There's the mace. Hmm. I can buy more maces, I believe, from either the blacksmith or the undead merchant. Emit force, excellent. There you are. I'll be heading to the nothing where yeah. while no worries. Venturing is my luck. <laughs> there you are. I'll be no no. <laughs> Adventuring is his life. Okay, so I can attune magic. Mid force. I have stuff to buy from him as well. You'll have to do that again when we get the Rattic Kindling anyway.
I don't think I need anything for green. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I don't know how many I have. Let's go ahead and feed these coins. They're worth a lot. You see small souls, only one. Forgot I need to save some weapons for boss weapons if I want to make any of those. I will get rid of Ricard's right here though. Don't need two Telaxes. And I have a Lightning Spear so I don't need the Wing Spear. Or a regular Halberd. sure that's the right spider shield that they destroyed. Hmm. Okay. No, I destroyed the wrong one. The one that's in storage is in storage now. Still. Don't want to have to get that out after I die to toxic. Right, I need to make sure I have enough to upgrade the minutes to five. Nope. Mm -hmm. Is there any place to get another morning star? I'm looking at that guy right now. So there's the crest still. So you need one, then one, two, then two, then three. So I need six. Ridiculous. So I gotta go buy a large front net shard, then come to him so that I can upgrade it to plus six. What have I done? And I don't even know for sure if it's going to be useful in that way.
Mm, chamber. Now, if the mace is not useful that way, I could always just use it. It is a really good strength based weapon. Maybe even make it crystal in the future. It's my poise out with just pants on. 21, not too bad. Not good enough, obviously. Excellent. You never ground pounded before in your life? Come on. Gotta do the job. That hit still. So. Oh, and it still remembered my attack. Ah, great. It missed because I hit behind his shield. <sighs> Even though it went right through him and his arm, and then hit his shield in the back. I did no damage. These guys are ridiculous. I don't know. Does he make a bow or something? I don't know. Yeah, there are a lot of boss weapons that are just out of sight, out of mind, because you have no opportunity whatsoever to use them in a regular playthrough. Now we get an idea, let's check it out. So, I can turn it into Smoke's Hammer. So, Soul of Smoke for 5,000. And Smoke's Hammer is 300 damage, and it takes 58 strength. 20 weight, holy cow. Well, that's a future weapon. Check out. So I need to buy some more large titanite. Five. And I don't think I can modify here. No, can't. These really long walks are so much fun. The cost is pretty high.
prohibitive. Yeah, the cost is kind of too. I'm tempted to buy the Homeward Spell. But that costs a slot. In addition to the cost of the spell. Okay, I'm not going to farm Large Titanite right now to do all that. I will go make it plus six or whatever I can get it to to get a head start. Because that is my plan, is to get Smo's weapon for some fun Smo smashing in the future. Let's also do these three. Okay, to start. You didn't grab the occult club. Oh, but you got your mimic helm, so. Okay, let's have a look at our gear here. Uh, I don't think I've checked this lately. How are we doing there? I can wear... leather set. Might as well wear it. It's pretty cool looking. Nope, can't wear that set. What set can I wear? Huh, I wonder, maybe our set that we started with? Yeah, it looks like it. No sorcerer's hat. Black sorcerer hat we can wear. Or crown of dusk. Okay. Shall we do the catacombs then? Uh, but first we need to do my Moonlight Butterfly, don't we? Yeah. 
I did not equip a second ring. And of course I want it to be... Nice. Good damage. Maybe. It's a good possibility, huh? Good damage, considering it cost me one Titanite chunk. Three souls everywhere. Got that already? So it's a bit dangerous becoming human here. This is one of the most invaded places in the game. But I think I'm pretty safe because I have a plus 15 weapon. That's not always the case. There will be people out there that have twinked and regretted it, but they're sitting there waiting for their opportunity to invade in this area. listening or reading a book or watching a movie or something on a different thing. No egg. Oh well. So, wonder how much damage I do to these guys. Let's see. Working for me? Don't have heal anymore, do I? Can't hit them on the ground. Ah, the whip staggered me. He backs up out of my attack. Well, there's two Estes gone. The Elite Knight set. Set that almost everyone wears every single playthrough of Dark Souls 1. First playthrough, I mean.
Um, nothing there. Okay. In here. One more night. Okay, I already got the items over there. I believe I got everything. I might have missed what was around the corner. Let's have a quick look over here. Hello. Those guys dropped the blooming moss. No, that's not the right word. What is it called? Fragrant. Uh, anyway, the grass that makes you have better stamina regen. I didn't pick this up. I'm glad I came over here. It's a good item to grab. Green Blossom, that's what it's called. It's like a little Easter egg, taking you back to Demon Souls. Got your sign down yet? Are you going? Ah, oh, there's another one. Good deal. Their shield and sword both are faith slash uh, strength based weapons, I believe. I'm positive about that. Basically, just summoning my buddy for the extra souls he'll get. He would have summoned me, but I didn't want to run all the way back there. Because he had to do it so he would be able to summon. Uh, not summon, to do the quest line for Sigmeyer. He had to fight a boss to get him to update where he would be located. Three souls, three souls. So we should have no trouble with this boss. We got a nice shield for magic defense, stability and all that. But she can probably one shot me with her attacks. Simply because that's the way it works. One of them is so powerful that it could. That one is. Nope, not that one. Yeah, she didn't do the one that uh, might have actually caused me problems. Need to store some helmets, I think. Now, Moonlight Butterfly stuff is magic-based, right? So the Moonlight Butterfly horn and the shield? Yeah. They're both magic-based int weapons. That is something I can just sell to the... craft? What level did you get to? Okay.
So we may do a farming session. Uh, it might not be until the very end of New Game before we fight Gwen. Well, we're definitely going to farm, but I don't know uh, how much of it will be on camera. Most of it will probably be off camera. Yeah. Right. Just because we don't want to waste your time. Fine, and also, it's yeah. really boring even for us, so we'll probably have a book or music on or something like that. Farm either upgrade materials or souls or something. Yeah, the purpose of farming will be to get weapons up to the point uh, that we want them. To be able to make the boss weapons. Um, and all that for New Game Plus. Buy as much as we want before we go on to New Game Plus. Uh, but if we are farming, it's not for levels. It will never be for levels. Every soul that you see us get on camera is the only way we'll level up. Yeah, like, I want to have 999 poison arrows, for instance. I love to have stacks of all of the uh, consumables that are cheap, like poison arrows, that I could use. New game plus, 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 plus. It might take 20 arrows to poison someone, you know? Uh, let's see. I need a warped fire link. And sell the soul to friend. I think he gives 12,000. Maybe it's 8,000? I don't know. You popped it? Yeah. I still didn't check my green titanite. So, feed him the moonlight butterfly. Oh, it's 8,000. That's all he gives. You got 1,200, right? Uh, yeah, I'm not going to sell armor yet. Oh, wow. That'll be a thing I do in New Game Plus, probably. If uh, we reach the New Game Plus that has the no armor on it. By the way, uh, if you haven't already, if you've thought of a cool uh, addition to the challenges for one of the New Game Plus cycles, please comment down below about it. We'd love your ideas. We've got a lot of ideas of our own, but we may incorporate your own into our run. Challenges. Okay, we're going to the catacombs then, right? I'm hoping the occult club works. I can't recall. It's a cult. So it starts out as divine, and then you switch it to a cult. Technically, it's a plus six occult weapon. Or seven at this point. A plus seven divine weapon, I mean. Down here. It's in that room with the giant skeleton at the bottom of the ladder. Yeah. You suicide run to it a lot if you want it. Awesome. Somebody comes with a fire link. So if this occult weapon doesn't stop the pyromancers from respawning the skeletons, then uh, I'm not going to go make a divine weapon this run, but I will turn the New Game Plus club into the... Okay. So I didn't get to test on that guy. The New Game Plus occult weapon. I will turn into a divine weapon really easily. You get one each run, so it'll be a really simple thing to turn it into a divine weapon. Okay. 
Okay, I think the occult weapon is confirmed to not work. Well, it doesn't work. I don't know, but I think so. Let's see. No, it's not killing them. So you gotta kill the pyromancer. Love to get a fog ring. Why did I become human earlier? Did I kindle a... Oh, I summoned my buddy for Moonlight. I forgot. So we're going down this path, uh, number one for Rite of uh, Kindling. But number two, I want to get Sanctus and uh, Grant. I would like to be able to use those. Sooner the better. Normally I don't wait to get the stats for a thing. I usually level up beforehand, but I'm not going to make you wait while I go look up what the stat requirement is. Right at the moment, because it's not something I have in my hands. Or can get in my hands really easily. I've got to get all the way down to the bottom of this place first. Okay, sure, you take the hit. Might be better off with the Great Club since this does nothing to these guys. I wonder if the Cult Club would be good against Priscilla. Yeah, Lucerne is pretty cool. Do like that attack. Thankfully the damage I do with this is not too bad actually. Let's have a real quick look though. What am I losing out from the Great Club? 608. Oh, it's almost double. I would definitely be one-shotting these guys. Take a little longer to swing though. The thing is, it makes me mid-roll too, though. Where's that archer at? Right there. There's the item. So you attracted him beforehand? Use it. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. Motion controls. Somebody needs to fire that person. If you're a game developer and you don't put an option in your game to turn off the motion controls that some idiot in your office decided Hey, we should do this because motion controls exist. After you fire him, make sure that you put that in your game. 
the option to turn them off because it is obnoxious. It can get you killed. I've died in PvP because my character decided, nope, you're not going to swing your weapon. You, instead, are going to point down or whatever emote it decides to use. So infuriating. Here we go. Kindling this one. I think we need 20 humanity for the Chaos Covenant so we can get that secret path. And how far are we on? I need one more Sunlight Metal is off before I can change covenants freely. Uh, before I change back, meaning I'll have to change back eventually. He's not here for me. What in the world are you doing, game? Come on! Hit him completely, I guess. Not that it matters, they can just get right back up again. I didn't consider if we kill this guy we can't do his covenant and I'm miracle based and one of his things is a miracle yeah he does have a really great weapon No souls. He's going to be able to get back up. You've used it. Yeah, you focused on it one time and it doesn't work very well. That's why it's not... Okay, I guess I'm going to have to quit out so that guy moves back to where he should be. It does damage, but it's just like all the fire area effects. No, it's so darn enemies. Tranquil Walk of Peace? I'm talking about uh, Gravelord Sword Dance. Oh yeah, Gravelord Sword Dance. That one's pretty cool, but it's that If you don't know why I did that, the way this game works, if you log out, it resets the enemy placement back to where they should be, where they would spawn, which is a great way to get a body of an enemy to move back to where it should be. Specific enemies that drop items, their body could move back to where it should be instead of having fallen to their death, like Lawtruck when I killed him earlier. This guy might be able to one-shot me if I don't have full life, so... But I will kill him, if I can.
just so he's out of the way, and that Demon Titan that would be nice. That was a bit dangerous there. I wish I... Well, I'm glad I didn't get killed by it, but... Did not expect them to flip around like that. If I put my shield down. That would have been death. Right there. Again. There we go. I think we're ready to do Sense Fortress Demons. Tree Eyes of Death. Since we didn't get any in the depths, that means now I have some. Which means I could join Grave Lord Servant Covenant here. And maybe we will save the uh save Grave Lord Nito for later. If you don't already know, the reason I'm focusing on this path, instead of going through the level, is to see what I have in store for myself here. I should have put the gold ring on. Maybe I can get that on. He's really quick though. Yes, got it on. Ooh. There we go. Come on. Give me the Black Knight Axe. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love this weapon. 18 dex requirement. It's one of my favorites. If not my very favorite weapon to use. Weighs even more than the Great Club. But it is definitely on the list of things to use. Can't do anything with it right now, though. Okay, I'm going to Homer. Yeah, Homer Bones is one of those things, top of the list for farming. Stack of them. Enough souls to buy. So many that we'll never have to worry about running out. Because it starts to become annoying. I only have six now. You have to debate on... Am I going to be wasting everyone's time, or... Am I going to be wasting everyone's time, including my own? I didn't open that yet. Okay. I bet he dropped the item because I have a gold sign or gold ring on. <laughs> what was I thinking? Oh well, I guess I need to go this way then. Waste another homeward bone. Trying to get his body. Oh, it's right there. Sweet. Yeah, just jump to your death. That's great. No item. Okay. Could go get the blacksmith now, but. I want to kill the... No! Paired me? That's all? Oh, not bad. I want to kill all of the pyromancers and get the... Um... What is it called? The lantern. Skull lantern. If you kill every one of them, you have a guaranteed drop 
at the end, but each and every one of them could drop one. To the point that you could get more than one every playthrough. You don't usually though, usually it's only one. Ah, he didn't dodge underneath me. Okay, get out of the way. Got some crystal lizard paths. Hmm. Targeted. I pressed the button three times. I'm sure you can hear it. I listen to some of my streams and you can hear me pressing my controller buttons. <laughs> my character did not target it though, so I gotta go through this and do two crystal lizards here. I believe there's some further on in this path, right? One or two more? There's two in that other path, right? Okay, there's two right next to each other, then another spot with more. I might be wrong. Oh my gosh. Maybe if I strong attack from this position. Too slow. Okay, time to switch weapons. Back to that occult club. That won't hurt. Could actually roll with this thing on. Okay, let's see. Where I'm at? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <sighs> After the first Pyromancer? Uh, sorry, no, it's the third Pyromancer in the catacombs. First one's at the very beginning. Second one runs away from you. The third one, after you flip a switch, there's a drop. It's ridiculous. They've been respawning for me, which is not a normal thing for me to have to uh, do this. When they respawn, usually you get the kill, right? Swing. Oh my goodness. Maybe a two-handed attack. It's going to hit that thing and deflect off of it again, I bet. This is ridiculous. There we go. That's one done. Two twinkles, two green. Okay, it's probably just those two. Usually the problem I have with this situation is they don't even respawn. They're not even there. You have to reload and reload and reload because they've already disappeared before you even loaded. Deflect it off the statue. There we go. Just twinkles.
got ripped off. That was an awful lot of work for two. I guess that's 16,000 souls, so not the worst situation. Don't have poisoning on. Put poisoning on, you shouldn't be able to stagger me that easily. Falchion. Barely even doing damage. Okay, this time. We will go down here. Make sure I got all the items in these sides. Did not. I guess we'll unlock this path now, because I'm not going to be using it. I need to go back up to the bonfire and do that underground path right there. So this is not a jump, this is just a run. Got to tell myself that. If you jump, you land on that thing. And that will often mean you fall the entire distance, which can mean your death. Oh, this is a warpable bonfire, isn't it? We don't usually play remastered version. Although we put, what did I say, 740 hours or something? What does he have? Those are always nice. Yeah, I did. That's a lot of people's least favorite enemy right there, but they don't tend to bother me as much as others are bothered by him. Because I know this trick right here. Number one. We made a hilarious short uh, a couple months ago. I was on the drop down where you get uh, Paladin Leroy, right, as a summon, and one of those pinwheels climbed the wall to get up to the drop down area. Just ridiculous. There's no other way to get up there. You have to drop to it. No. So he just climbed up the wall. What is going on? What was that about? Holy cow. 
I was focused on my character's head and I couldn't get away from his. I think I got the Pyromancer there. Oh, with the plus two, I might actually do enough to kill them with a strong attack. Oh, if I have it out. <laughs> okay. Still no Skull Lantern. The only path left is the... The break of a wall, I believe. Well, it only takes two hits now, instead of three. So it's not like they have defense against a cult, but they just... The problem is a divine weapon killing them cause them to not be respawnable by the pyromancers. The pyromancers can respawn the skeletons and you won't get any souls when you kill them until the pyromancer is defeated and then you also have killed them. Okay, I'm not going to join the covenant right now. We're not going to do Grave Lord Nito because my buddy and I need to discuss how much covenant stuff we want to do in our first run. So, where is that drop at? Oh, it's up here. That's it right there. Get all those guys chasing me from outside to go back home. And then we got some guys here to kill. Oh, a little different oh, Where's my Estus? Oh my goodness. <sighs> Gotta waste another humanity. So I got staggered out of my first try of Estesius, which is because I got hit in the head, even though I have the poise ring on. The uh, headshot is going to stagger you. I need to rest out of that other bonfire, I guess. So the pyromancers don't respawn. Oh my gosh, I did it again. What's going on? That was close. Really? I'd like to get my body back. Stop focusing in the center of my body. Weird glitch. What are you looking for? That drop down right there? You killed all of your pyromancers? I have at least one more, maybe two, in this path here. They're not dying, so... Make them stop chasing me.
No reason to fight and kill them. Cannot be killed. Hit the ceiling. Trying to fight this guy. Now they can be killed. There's the lantern. And it even awarded me with a soul. I mean, a humanity. So. I wonder why Patch has moved on. I had, didn't come down here, so he shouldn't have been doing that. But I guess we did go to New Londo. Usually he's still here, though. You ready? Okay, let's get that pinwheel defeated. Just gonna make sure he's not there. Oh, really? Today's just not my day, I guess. Wasting humanity left and right. Oh, the glitches. Pyromancy doesn't scale with anything but your Pyromancy flame. So I can go down to 49. There you are. Okay, there's an item on this side, I believe. Yeah. This will be the easiest fight in the game. Yep. Probably got to start with the Mimic Helm on. Since I'm having trouble getting to it.
Watch him kill me. It's ridiculous. Man, the damage he did to me just there. Considering the fact that he's one of the easiest bosses they ever made in any of these games. The Night of Kindling. Almost forgot my mask. Seventy point six, so I can go one. Seventeen point six. I don't know if I'll be able to level one time or not. So the jump is one way to get over there. You can also just drop. Skeletons get attracted over here and they can hit you in the middle of what you're doing. Which is why I like to jump. So I think this will be the end of today's run. We might do some farming for items and upgrades and whatnot after this, like we discussed. Uh, arrows, consumables, upgrade materials. One thing we want to do, uh, well, w one thing we need to discuss still is whether we want to do covenants, and how much we're going to do with them. The further we go into the game of New Game Plus, the less chance we have of ever being able to do any sort of covenant right. stuff other than white and orange or kind of gold. By me. He teleported.
Yeah, I think I'll homeward so I don't have to deal with that. Oh, gotta decide now. Am I going for strength to wield? Smoke's hammer first? Or grant? Or am I going for dex? So that I could get Black Knight Great Axe. Let's look at the base damage first. I've already upgraded it, so it's easily comparable. 343 with B, scaling and strength. So the A scaling on this one gives me 270, so it'd probably be around 200. 540 something. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of damage out of this, but e the really great thing about the Great Axe is not just the fact that it's super strength damaging weapon. The movesets are awesome. It has a attack like that, and the left and right uh, swings for the first R1 goes from the right to the left, and the second R1 goes from the left to the right in front of you. Kind of like uh, the pendulums inside Sense Fortress with the axes, <laughs> but straight in front of you. So you just basically hit everything in 180 degree arc, and it's amazing. Then if you two hand it, you can have it go overhead like the Great Club does. Hmm. It's a fun weapon. But. I'm afraid I've wasted those twinkles because I really want to focus at the moment. We'll use Black Knight Great Axe when I go after Dragon Slayer Great Bow. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you're enjoying it. Please subscribe and leave a like it makes a huge difference and I'll see you next time